Mr. Ologbondion to come in here. Uh, Mr. Ologbondion, let me start by asking you. Today, um, the, uh, after the FEC meeting, uh, Alaji Lai Muhammad, the Minister of Information, did say that um, the genuine members of the party are now on board as the entire leadership of the PDP inquiry have moved over to the APC, implying that those that have moved is allowing them to settle in and know the real members of their party. And you will recall what the chairman of the APC did say, that some of the people who are leaving the party uh, now realize that the doors to collecting free money from NNPC has been shot, the doors to collecting free money from CBN has been shot, and a whole lot of issues regarding it. Uh, is it a victory party for your, uh, for your party in this season? For us, it's a bountiful harvest, a season of harvest. That is what the People's Democratic Party is enjoying currently. But before I go into the issues that you have raised, let me quickly respond to a man I normally call my leader, because we're in the same party, uh, who said that uh, the party is damaged and uh, we're even changing name. Well, whatever people say about PDP today, I think that uh, Senator Alin Dume <laughs> contributed largely to it. And as a result of that, those of us who were left behind have done everything humanly possible, led by Prince Uche Secondus, to rebrand the party, to reposition the party, and to make it in such a way that it has become the bride of Nigerians. And when I came in, and uh, Senator Alain Dume did not congratulate me, I, was, I, asked, I quickly told him, that there's a need for him to come back home because the party has been prepared and we are receiving and welcoming returnees and new members who are desirous of one thing. Such people have realized that the administration of President Muhammad Buhari has demonstrated so much incompetencies that we need a new leadership to rescue this nation, our dead nation, from its governance. And as such, it is convenient for my boss here, Senator Alin Dume, to begin to, uh, 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 to, begin to, to desire to, to run down the People's Democratic Party. But that was a party that gave him opportunity, and it functioned effectively. And I was also part of that system as a special advisor to the then president of the Senate. So I can only urge Senator Alin Dume to come back to the People's Democratic Party. But having said that, for us, I just came back, I came, as you are aware, I came directly from Benue State, where we went to receive a large number of APC members who have just returned to our party. And for your information, we are having a pre-net dinner tonight for our net tomorrow, where we are going to formally receive the members, the new members and the returning members of the People's Democratic Party. Uh, uh, I think the epicenter of this... Um Tsunami, if you must call it, I think it's a probably, I mean, it's cl clearly my state, Kwara State. Because Kwara State is arguably one state where we lost all the three senators, all the members of the House of Representatives, and also the, 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 the government, so to say. And I'm sure you, what the, the, the question on people's lips is exactly how is it going to affect the government, and how is it going to affect the party, and how is it going to affect uh, the state. I will talk, you know, I'll start with the government and the party. And my position, frankly, is that if uh, <coughs> Senator Dr. Uh, Dr. Bukola Saraki, if we are not a member of the APC, I don't think the party and the government could have suffered more than they have already with regards to the delay in passing the budget year after year, delays in approving key appointments that could have made the government, you know, more efficient. In other words, what we are saying is that the, 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 the Senate President 
and behave all along as if you are a member of the opposition. Yeah, the president is going on a uh, 10-day uh, leave, and um, he did the right thing. He has written to the National Assembly, the president of the Senate, and the Speaker of the House of Representatives. As the president leaves for his uh, uh, vacation, I believe that we are supposed to continue to uh, be very responsible as legislators. Those issues that are so important to this country that we haven't dealt with, we should be able to come together, come back, and, and deal with them. And here I have in mind the consideration of the budget of the uh, INEC for the 2019 elections. That is the request of Mr. President on environment uh, and supplementary budget. We need to go on a short break. But when we come back, my panel tonight on the program, Senator Aline Dume and the spokesperson of the PDP, they will be digging into some areas that will interest you tonight on the program. Don't go anywhere. We've just got started on the program everywhere.